It lived 70 million years ago during the Cretaceous period. It stood 20 feet high, so tall it could look a giraffe in the eye. This was Quetzalcoatl, named after the serpent god of the Aztecs. It was probably a scavenger, using its long neck to probe deep into the carcasses of dead dinosaurs. Any small animal foolish enough to get in its way was likely to meet a grisly end. But how did the giant Quetzalcoatl get off the ground? The answer may be found inside the pterosaur arm bones. There are two things you have to get right if an animal the size of a giraffe, like Quetzalcoatl, is to get into the air. Weight and power. And a close examination of the bones show how the pterosaurs did that. A scan of the arm bone of Quetzalcoatl shows that, just like those of other pterosaurs, it was hollow. This animal was very lightweight. It may have been the size of a giraffe, but it was no heavier than two human beings. But at the very top of the arm, the bone is very different. All these supporting struts line up in one direction. And that gives us a clue as to how the animal got airborne. Upper arms were reinforced so that they could withstand a sudden burst of great power without breaking. The animal used all four of its limbs as a giant catapult to launch its body skyward at 35 miles an hour. It used a quadrupedal launch. <laughs> 